Dathka Grouch had an eventful life on Korriban, during a time in which war was raging after Sith King Addis died. To give you some context, Grouch was born 7,000 years before the Star Wars movies, and Sith King Addis died almost 20,000 years before that, which gives you an idea of the war-torn place Korriban was when Dathka Grouch achieved adulthood. In this great civil war, a lot of the Sith lords declared themselves Sidari, the Sith word for overlord. Grouch was a proficient Sith sorcerer and he was known to be a brutal Sith, defeating his enemies with violence and malice. He eventually beat two-thirds of the world and finally was declared the overlord of the Sith during Dathka Grouch's time as Sidari. He expanded his rule and dominated all other Siths in a way that even by Sith eyes was extremely violent, brutal and cruel. He always left the battlefields littered with corpses all around. When the war was over, Grouch used his Sith alchemy and Sith magic knowledge to perfect a spell, named Siwinaka Hoyakit, which allowed him to resurrect corpses using the power of the dark side. Finally, he was successful in retrieving his own heart, replacing it with a magic crystal charged with dark force energies. He eventually was assassinated, as was to be expected with such a vicious ruler. A great tomb was built for him in one of the Valleys of the Sith Lords, on Korriban. The tomb was full of protective seals and carvings, and the crypt in which Grouch was entombed was devoid of sunlight, full of caverns and pictograms on the walls. Inside Dathka Grouch's sarcophagus was the Sith Lord himself, his sword, amulet, holocron and magic crystal heart. Death couldn't keep the Sith Lord at bay though, as during the time of the Star Wars movies, between the destruction of the Death Star and the Battle of Endor, there was a dark side prophet who used to work for Palpatine, Darth Sidious, who sundered Grouch's spirit and tried to have him reveal his knowledge and secrets. Once Grouch was up, he was forced to share his with Kronal, allowing him to learn how to successfully manipulate Meltmassif crystals. Years later, surveyors went back to the tomb to search for Grouch's remains and heart, but found nothing even after disciplined inspection. If you liked the video, don't forget to share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel. I'm a small video maker so I would definitely thank you for the help. Thank you and may the force be with you.